Right, let's talk about tasks and what you're going to use your, your CRM for. You're going to, you know, when you come to it, what have you got to do in a day? What have you got to do when you're, you know, you've got your allocated time to catch up with, um, with, your, with your team stuff, with everything you need to do. And, you know, you, for some of you, you might be working for free. You want to be on top of what needs to be done. So what you would do is you would have a task list. You would start setting tasks. So... If someone said this one, Adolf Cunningham needs to, you need to follow up on on um, membership payment. You're gonna say, I need to create a task for that person. So it says here activities, open an activity. If you click add, you can add a new task, add a new event, or log a call. So I'm gonna add a new task, subject uh, membership overdue. Right. I'm gonna put due date that I need to do this task, not the membership is tomorrow when it's quite high send me a reminder you can say let me know before you can repeat it or you can add more fields to it but i'm just going to create and save it right membership overdue right so now when i come in different places now i've got open tasks membership overdue i've got to do this task right so what i'm going to do is send i'm going to send an email uh, da, 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 da. I need to go to the contact. You should, in theory, be able to do it from here, but you can't in a minute. I'm going to go to the uh, account. I'm going to go to the information. Aid Adolf Cunningham. And I'm going to send a mail. Right. Uh, membership over due. Please pay your membership. And in future videos, like I've said before, we're going to put link here. You know, give them a give them a place to pay where they can't say, oh, "I'll pay you next time I see you." Link here, please pay today. Right, something like that. I'm going to send Andolf an email. So the task can be completed if it was just send an email, but then that person may um, or may not reply so i'm going to open an activity i'm going to make a phone call now if you've got the app on your phone you just click it call call uh, using the app uh, obviously i'm on my computer so it's saying call via skype so open activities i'm going to now log a call i've called um uh fees over due call right call purpose uh prospected admin so we again you can change this to whatever would be for you. Uh, we'll call it support. Eh? You don't need to put it all in. Call type is outbound. Description made the call to to get these. Uh, call result um, paid online while I was on the phone. Right, so you got him to click on that link that you emailed him. And you talked him through paying it. It's not billable. Well, it may be billable. It's up to you whether you do a billable time for people or stuff. But in a club scenario, I'm saying you won't. It's going to say start call. Uh, and then, I don't know why it did that. Um, because I just wanted to log the time. But So now I've got two activities. Oh, I made a call. That's why. So... Close activities is call here. Fees overdue call. So it will track it. So there's the call that you've made. I didn't mean to send the call. I just wanted to tag in that it took me 10 minutes to call, right? So it, and it automatically closed the call. So now I've got closed activities, fees overdue. I can track. Oh, I had to phone you last time, look. Uh, last time I were after money for you. And now in open activities... Let's be task gone. Oh man, it's determined to make me look crazy, isn't it? Membership overdue, overdue, and close task. Right, the actual task. The reason is the actual task is in the uh, account, not the contact. So if I go to uh, where am I now? The account open tasks here is membership overdue it's in the account um and i made the contact the call to the contact so it can get a little bit confusing because you think the account name is the same as the contact name in this scenario if that was um 
you know, a builder's suppliers, and then the contact was a different name. Because when you're in a membership scenario, the we've put the account name the same as the contact name, so it can get a little bit confusing. But the open task is in the uh, account name. So I'm chasing the account for money, okay? I'll, I'll probably add some videos down the bottom to clear that up. So anyway, I've got this open task. When I go to my tasks, I can see what's been done. I can just close that task now because I've had it done, right? So are you going to build out in your activities things that you need to do uh, in your day? You can add a quick task, subject, um, uh, sports, or you would go maybe to deals, right? You might go to this deal. So we've got this deal of this sponsorship, right? And we're going to add a task to that. So a task can be anywhere. So uh, da, 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 stage, so a whole project, we're not going to do it. Open activities, right? The reason I'm stuttering a little bit is it used to say task on the side and then they changed it to open activities, cloud activities, and put it in a plus. So I'm always looking, old hard bits dying hard because it used to say task, add task. But now here, look, new task. New task for that. Um, follow up, call or book a meeting or something into uh, oh I don't want a reminder and click save uh, and it you know as an event here new event uh, meeting location um, the office it's, I'll put it as an all day meeting but well, you could put time and date right so now you're building out what you've got to do. Now in your activities, open deals. I've got a meeting coming up. I've got a, a follow-up call coming up for that job. And look at it. It's telling me how much that deal's worth. I'm putting this up. You know, the um, this is this is an important job. This is an important thing. Close task. Yes, that one's happy. Meeting. I might put. Um, I might put notes. Meeting went great. Uh, I think they will sign off. Save it, right? Or you might add, what do you need to take to this meeting? You might put, uh, don't forget to tell them about all the new uh, development uh, happening. Spelling is brilliant. Tell me how to spell it properly. There you go. Save, right? So now you're getting these tasks, you're writing notes, you're giving yourself reminders, you've got it on your phone. So it's telling you all this information as you drive into that meeting on in one place. Um, and you've got different places where you can see what you've got to do. And you're gonna have all this information in, in however you wanna set it up, you're gonna set up these boards so that it's exactly how you operate. This is what I wanna see first, I wanna see my tasks. Or I want to see my deals. You know, I can change. I can check. I can add this to. Um, well, I'll probably get to views and dashboards, right? But am I going to put pipeline by stage, uh, campaign leads? I'm actually going to leave it because there will be more training in setting up this dashboard further down. But that's activities. That's setting up deals, tracking phone calls, um, tracking meetings and all the information that you need in between. Any questions, ask them in the lesson comments below.